I figured we'd put an end to the current series of videos on this uh, smart UPS SMT2200 because it's currently found a residence in the battery room and uh, as you can probably not hear it isn't making a loud humming noise so it's currently running off of a grid so what I've done with this unit now is I've used the hacky smart protocol thing I found to calibrate the battery charger to basically only put out about uh, 51 volts which is about 12.7 uh, volts per battery in the 48 volt string so what this means is that this UPS basically doesn't charge the batteries unless they get real alone something's wrong with the solar system because uh, the actual battery charging is happening by the morning star controller there which you can see is giving a nice green light since we've been getting plenty of sunshine recently so I'm running this thing as just a giant UPS right now UPS that will keep going for days and days probably uh, so what I did not manage to do but I haven't tried very hard is to configure it to actually think that it's got the external battery packs connected which is the trick you'd usually do in order to make one of these guys accept having giant batteries hooked up uh, it didn't seem to do anything when I used the a smart protocol to just set it to think it's got 10 battery packs connected but I might get into that in the future it just keeps running and it's got no communication set up so it's just running like, like a stupid UPS inverter but uh, what I've done further uh, to actually get power out of this thing is uh, I've a semi-ugly solution so this fat white wire here is a normal uh, solid core installation wire which is just running to one of the outlets on on the back of the unit and uh, it's running all the way up there through the wall and it enters that loom there and uh, does a little jiggle around this uh, powerpoint thing I've got set up here now what uh, the text on the box says uh, solar system not grid so this is just my work and uh, everything in this box including the power point out there which is just for the lights and the power point down here and the light switch these are all going on the UPS right now so lights in this room will keep on shining even if it powers out but if we keep following this wire it goes around there and does a pretty ugly job of being zip tied to the old wiring in the ceiling here uh, I haven't wanted to uh, put proper new wire here since uh, uh, it's obviously concrete uh, ceiling and I just don't fancy drilling in some new holes for just this wire and uh, yeah it's not very properly done but yeah finally it ends up coming out there in a power outlet, a dual power outlet actually and that's powering all my UPS equipment the right hand side power outlet is the original which uh, came with a house, it's just normal grid supply and the left one's uh, connected to the UPS and labelled battery backup 1500 watts max now for all intents and purposes of course it's a normal 10 amp outlet as long as the power isn't out since we've got 2200 VA behind it mm, yeah but there you go so I've never got a properly UPS power outlet in the workshop so now the question remains what I'm supposed to do with my old good old UPS down here this guy I still want to have a local UPS in case I need to unplug the wire in case I want to move something around but this thing could probably do with getting down scaled a bit and those batteries down there are pretty crap I would not expect them to give more than about 40 amp hours each of usable power really so they really belong in this scrap heap 
I also would like to modify the fan control in that UPS in order to not make it run the fan horribly loud if you put enough load on it. Right now there's just one dot, so it's running passively, but if you put more than about 80% of the load on it, it'll start revving the fan, and it sometimes happens, depending on what I've got running on UPS at the moment. Uh, there you go, finally got an empty bench. Thank you for watching. Cheerio. Now, something I am considering doing is that using this timer, this is a four-channel timer I've got, I'm currently just running my block heater off of it, that what I could do is to just install another power outlet on it and uh, configure it to turn the main supply to the UPS off for an hour a day or so, which would allow me to extract some solar power by just scheduling power outages. And we'll see what it comes out of that. I currently need to replace a couple of relays in this because it's just got two working channels out of four and it had some kind of weird relays in it so I just couldn't be bothered to replace all of them because I just had two at hand. But yeah, we'll see what happens with that.